Hello from Chinichu.com, this is Mark Josie. Today I'll be doing a review on this Walther Nighthawk pellet pistol. It's a .177 caliber um, pellet pistol. Now people will be like, hey, this is just like the CP99. Hey, it's not. <laughs> it's the Nighthawk, okay? So it's different. It comes in a very fancy package with all the uh, bling bling shit. So yeah, <laughs> basically mock suppressor not no inner barrel inside it won't suppress the gun whatever okay it's not going to do anything to sound and uh so this is a threaded tip basically just put it here and screw that on okay comes with a very nice red dot sight actually i do like the red dot sight okay red dot sight you can turn it on good so basically um, everything is very much alike with the CBCP99, but some difference, okay? You pop this out, you can put your um, Umrex 8-shot pellet magazine in there, and shove it in on the side. There you go. And uh, this here, the rail, the four-sided rail, um, it's plastic, but it's not very cheap plastic, it's very nice plastic. Okay, you have your iron sight right here, the white dot iron sight, and also uh, the iron sight inside. Mag release right here, plastic mag, uh, mag release too, not metal. Okay, this is the CO2 magazine. This is one feature, very special feature of this gun, the CO2 magazine. Okay, the magazine only holds the CO2. And what's so good about it is, you can buy spare magazines. So when you're shooting, um, like for example, if you're shooting with a Beretta PX4 Storm, okay, the magazine is inside the gun. If your gun, uh, the valve is leaking or the whatever, okay, you need to repair the whole gun. And also, as you shoot, the power decreases because the CO2 keeps getting colder and colder and the CO2 con uh, gets consumed. The thing, if your gun is leaking, change the magazine and everything is good to go again. So that's a really, really nice feature. And also, if you're running low in power, shove in a new magazine with a new CO2 and you can keep shooting again. It won't die down. Like the power can keep going on and on. So I really like this gun for this purpose. And this slide, um, one thing that is different from the CP99 is you cannot cock this side, it's like you cannot pull it back. There's no decock feature, and um, also it's only double action. You cannot do uh, you cannot do single action. So um, yeah, not really as good as this, as the CP99. Okay, the CP99 you can actually cock the gun. You see, you can pull this, cock it. And you have your single action shooting. Okay. And also here you have your decocking feature right here. So I really like the CP99. Uh, but the Walther Nighthawk is just an other CP99 that is only for double action. And it's extremely quiet for a pellet pistol. Um, besides that, okay, I would like to say the whole gun is pretty nice and well balanced in terms of weight. Even with the suppressor on. And this thing on, because there's no metal slide, the gun feels just right. The the balance itself is very, 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 very good. Compared to the CB99, okay, when you hold it, the top feels a bit heavier uh, than the bottom. And it's kind of like tilted one side. So this thing actually do balance better in the uh, grip, like when you grip it. Uh, this is the warning text which everyone doesn't really like so anyway who give a shit uh, this is the safety you you press here and slide forward okay to put it on safe and then you have to go like that to take it off safe well it's okay uh, not the best kind of safety but anyway so let's do some shooting together with this um, pistol and check out the accuracy i'm now going to tune in my red dot okay there we go so let's go to the range and check it out and we'll be shooting with a liz brand co2 today okay let's go okay guys we're at the range right now uh shooting these walther nighthawk 
and using RWS Diablo pallets. So we're standing at about um, 16 feet. Let's check out the groupings of this gun. Okay, let's do a few shots to check it out. Let's go, guys. Yeah, aiming at the same spot, okay? The um the trigger is kind of heavy, but not super heavy. We just dumped one meg. Uh, now I'll put in a new magazine and on my next bullseye target. For a female you may find the grip a bit bulky. Okay, let's go. The top one. It's very quiet, guys. It's super quiet to the point that it's so scarily quiet. Like if you shoot in the apartment, no one will know you're firing this gun. And it's pretty good power too. Okay, so we did three legs of shots, so that's pretty impressive actually, um, given that the, the, I haven't shoot this gun for a while, and you can see the grouping, not bad, eh, not bad, not bad, all that grouping is very, very, very good. We're just using the uh, red dot that it came with, and it actually produced a nice grouping there, nice. Okay guys, I'm going to do something crazy, I'm shooting these cans with wad cutter pellets. Let's see on my fourth magazine can it cut into the soup can with wad cutters. Oh they all fall down. <laughs> okay let's see. It can't punch with these. This is the, the, the sardine fish can it didn't go through. For this one, nope it didn't go through didn't go through. Okay, so wad cutters cannot cut into them. Now let us go for penetration, okay? Do you want penetration? You need Skanko Type 2 uh, Blue Arrow Pellets, the hyper velocity shit. These things can punch through soup can much better. Now you see that on my fourth magazine, I did one mag with the um, like three shots with the wad cutter and it's not working, right? So let's take a look at what happened with the Skanko Type 2 Hyper Velocity Pellet. Now I just loaded them up into the uh, mag. Remember guys, the Type 2, not the Type 1 orange stuff. Okay, the Type 2. It will fit perfectly into the magazine. Okay, let's go. Same cans. Die! Okay guys, there we go. You can see the Type 2, Skanko Type 2 actually work. Um, this is the first one, the second one this with the Skanko. It didn't punch through both sides, but one side and it's quite impressive already. Big change, eh? <laughs> this one, yes. Went through the bottom and also the one side, you see, one side. The other side, nope, not two sides, okay? So one side. Uh, this one went through here. Did it go through? Nope, it, but almost. Hey, it dented it. Very nice. Cool. Woohoo! Okay, so let's empty a bit more shots here and we'll end the session.
very nice. You can see the pellets actually make them dance very well. Okay guys, so basically that's it. You can see the uh, cans got destroyed pretty nicely. Okay, these, I don't know why it's so tough. <laughs> but for punching the, um, the these type of cans, you really do need the Skanko Type 2 pellets. Wow, these cans are tougher than the Campbell soup stuff. Okay, anyway, this is uh, from corn. So you can see it actually did punch through it. But uh, just like any pellet shooters, they're not great for punching tin cans. If you like to punch tin cans, buy some Skanko Type 2 pellets and they work much better. But uh, pellets, they're for accuracy, they're for punching meat, soft targets. So, you know, if you like to punch fruits, they're great. Okay. Okay, so basically that's it. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye!